hey, we got a Broncos fan, we've Brad. Got not only a Broncos hey, fan, this is, you know whose dad this is? Is this Julius Thomas' dad? Greg yeah. Thomas. Mr. Thomas, hey, how you doing? All right. Great to see you, man. You doing, man? Walk in here, would you? Could you walk around? We'll talk. You come right in. Come right out. This Guys. is a Julius Thomas's father came Julius all the way out here. Julius Thomas' dad, number from Stockton, 80. California. Tight end for the Broncos. He's been posing for pictures and signing oh, autographs. Man, I got people lined up for pictures. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they just want to be part of it all, right? Look, how exciting <laughs> is this for you and yeah, Julius? Yeah. I mean, Super Bowl 48, man. Man, I, you know. A couple years ago, never imagined. Yeah. Four years ago, really never imagined. So, right. you know, the biggest part of it, I got my former coach on one sideline, Pete Carroll. I got my son on the you other sideline. You played Pete Carroll where? At the University of Pacific. You, you know, know. Nice. That's that's right. Right. because Pete went through UOP as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What great connections. Yeah, I always tell the story. If it wasn't for Pete, Jewish wouldn't be born. What? Amazing well, give us story. the story. Go ahead. Well, you Julius, know, I'm not playing wide receiver. Yeah. At Pacific, after my junior year, you know, I'm 6'6", six, six, killing number two, three receiver in the country. Uh -huh. He comes in, pulls me in the office. Greg, hey, sit down. I want to talk to you. I got this new offense I'm putting in with this one back. And then uh, I'm watching film on you last year. You're double, triple covered. And, hey, I want to make you an H-back. Line you up all over the field, backfield, slot, wing. And right. Keep you in motion, single cover you. Okay. I'm like, sounds like fun. I'll do it. Yeah. So I'm playing H-back. Going through spring, just amazing stuff's happening. Uh -huh. And then uh, line up as a tight end on one play, blocking backside while four guys fall over my leg, blow my knee out. Oh no! I didn't play again. That wow. was it. Yeah. So if it wasn't for Pete, you know, I would have been gone. I mean, if he'd have left me a wide, I'd have probably went out in the league. And yeah. you know, life takes those different paths. And yeah, that's so. Right. I always say so. so football for, was over for you. You hung yeah, around. Hung around Stockton. Got married. Okay. Started a family and pop, pop, pops Julius. <laughs> Isn't <laughs> that great? <laughs> so, Just that so Jewish does something to win the game. Yeah. If Pete loses, it comes back to. It? It, there you go. Pete, Pete did it to himself. <laughs> but I mean, look. Oh, wow. Hey, I love it. I that love is great. It. I love it. To see your son out here, though, yeah, yeah. then the season he had and Peyton Man. Manning. And I mean, the injuries that Julius had coming yeah. along this season, has yeah. it been a dream for the family? Uh, this, dream come this, true. Well, I guess it's beyond. You can't even call it a dream. You know, I mean, Jewish, you know, I tell people when you set goals, Sometimes when you shoot for the moon, hey, you might yeah. land on the stars. Right. His goal coming in to the offseason was to be a starter. That was right. his goal. Yep. Dad, he said, I didn't sign up to stand on the sideline on Sunday. Yep. And so all season, put it together. He said, I want to get the OTAs right. coming in. I want, you know, come time to see the season starts, I want to be starting tight end. Yep. That was his goal. Right. And because of he all the started. hard work, he just, you know, all that stuff. Now you see what what, what happened. And Peyton, great. Peyton's played a Peyton's huge a part in his life, days. right? I mean, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. That, that's the dream. <laughs> you know, right. that's the dream. Right, right. right. Peyton Manning show up, show up on your doorstep <laughs> and get squad. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you're right. That's the dream. It is great anyway, to see I'm you out excited. here. I'm excited. I know. I'm fired up. I can't wait. Good for you. you. Know, Congratulations. I can't wait for the game to start. So where are you sitting in the stadium? I'm sitting in the end zone. Okay. I'm sitting in about fifth or sixth row. And I already know, and Juice is going to get that touchdown, and he's going to bring that ball over Is there. he going to bring the ball and oh, hand it to you in the end zone? Yes, That baby. is going to be incredible. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. wow. We'll be looking eight eight for it. I will look, look for the 80. Eight eight to hook up. All it's right. The end zone, right? <laughs> so <laughs> when you're watching this game, yeah, yeah. you're going to you're gonna have to be, there's going to be emotions, oh, correct? I mean, we're going to see tears when he's introduced. Oh, I mean, this oh, is the biggest game geez. you want, as a kid wanted to play in this game. Exactly. You see his son playing exactly. it. We're going to get emotional. Exactly. I'll tell you, man, it's uh. You know, even when we come out to Denver and they do the introductions, and you know, my wife, you know, she gets so touched because right. uh, after those introductions, he's the first kid to the end zone. He's yeah, on his yeah. knees, he's praying, yeah. he's humble. Oh, I yeah. tell him, you gotta understand where your gifts come from, man. Yeah, right, and right. he appreciates it. You know, he's thankful. Now, you know, he's not boisterous right, or anything right, like that. Yeah. I was you know, gonna tell you, I, more importantly, than being a great football player, yeah. a great tight end, he's a great kid. Every time we've talked to Julius, mm. a great kid, great right person. On. Uh, good right job. All right. Good job all around. Right He's a great guy. He really is. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah, Enjoy yeah. the experience. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is a yeah. once I'll in a lifetime. You. Unbelievable. And man. it's so funny. Uh, Greg was on a show that one of my friends is involved with in Sacramento. Yeah, and he show, called yeah. me. His name's Jason Maloney. He said, Hey, <laughs> I just interviewed Julius 
Thomas's right. dad. He's coming out there. I gotta get you his number. He's <laughs> yes. a character. Yeah. And, and so I, we got the number. I was yeah. gonna call him tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> and I looked over, and there he is. I walk, I he was right, taking I pictures. Right that's corner. great. Yeah. I turn the corner. I walk right up on you guys. Oh, yeah. that's awesome, man. And like we great. say, great meant to be. Great to see yeah. 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 Exactly. Right. Well, enjoy oh, the experience. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. That is great. Oh man. I have lunch with you tomorrow. We're gonna hang out. Okay. You know, again, you know, we're going this group one more time. Yeah. You know, we'll go. Great stuff. You'll be awesome. ready to play, man. Well, let's all right. Be ready to play. All right. All right. Go Broncos, man. We'll, all right, now. Man. All right. We'll see you later. All right, you got Bye. It. Now the that is cool. The father of tight end Julius Thomas yeah. just stopped by. And his 